We will have playoffs in this sport for the first time coming up in two weeks, but there's still much to settle in the Pro Motocross Championship. And we'll do it today with the Tucker Freight Lines Ironman National from Indiana. Vial has climbed up to second around Hamaker and Shimoda. Then we see, I think, Deegan and Benick, the two rookies there for the Monster Energy Yamaha Star Racing Team, still have not seen Lawrence or Cooper. Hunter Lawrence is back in 19th position Whoa. right now. Yeah, so not the greatest start, but he's up. He's up and running, so that's the number one goal for him. But Justin Cooper I have on the radar at 36th place right now. Yeah, something must have went wrong there. I didn't see anybody go down in that first corner, so it must have been around the, the 180, but now we can see what happened to Hunter. He's in the middle of the screen. There you got him, James. Okay. Let's see what happened here. Oh. Uh, okay, was that Justin Cooper? That's what I'm wondering. Cooper was in it as well, so Cooper was ahead of him. Cooper got tangled up or went down. I'm not sure who caused that because I was watching Hunter. So Hunter got held up. But if you're going to get held up, that's the best case scenario. Get held up by your title competitor being down. There is your battle right now. Vial has suddenly caught DeFrancisco. He was battling Shimoda for second. Now the gap that Ryder D had built up is gone. And here comes Vial, the two-time world champ, and the Frenchman takes over the number one spot. Yeah, I was watching Tom in practice, and he looked like he had a really good flow. Um, I think with the ruts and stuff, he looks really good. I think he's gonna get around uh, Tom at some point by using these lines just because it's momentum. And this is one of the parts of the track. He'll slow down and funnel back in, and then hopefully he can get around in this little rhythm section that's coming up. He's gonna try to set it up, going all the way around the outside. Big power run toward this little turning jump. So what this is gonna allow Joe to do, he's gonna have more momentum going down this uh, this straight. So as if he can get up next to him, he'll we have did. it and he'd be side by side. So This is it, scrubbing together. He's just able to get to the top of those jumps a little bit more quickly than Vial. But Vial, I believe, will have the inside down at the end of this. Joe's gonna have to grease the outside, side by side. And Shimoda, the inside of the left-hander, now takes the lead. Yeah, that is Jose Butron, the rider out of Spain, who could potentially take a top 20 position into the playoffs, but he's not going to get points, I believe, at this point. It's, he is in the pit with the Wildcat Racing Team, so very disappointing for him. And that is to the relief of a couple others, yeah. like jo uh, Josh Hill. I see Josh Hill in the background doing the Dougie. You folks don't want to go anywhere. He is polishing off the 21st Moto win straight this year. A little over an hour and a half. We'll know if he can be perfect through all 22 motos. Sexton gave it a run early. Jet was able to answer back, hold on through the lap traffic, and he is headed to the checkered flag now. The perfect season continues. One down, one to go. Jet Lawrence wins Moto 1 at Ironman 21 for 21. We were watching him, that confidence. Yeah, to do those two motos or a few motos where he basically rode hard the whole time and didn't score any points has allowed him to even run in his 12th to, to really say when he gets into the playoffs and, it, and even through the LCQ, he might have a shot, you know? And I think that's where the determination from the whole uh, PC team, starting with Mitch Payton, that never die attitude is allowing these guys, Joe Shimoda, Austin Fortner, you can, you can really start to see it bleed down from the top to all these guys because Maybe a year ago, maybe they wouldn't have. If they would have got hurt just the way everything was going, maybe they just would have rolled back. But um, just good to see these guys fight back and hopefully. He's making the pass. Oh, oh no, Forkner, a big one. He was trying to get Styles Robertson. Oh, you hate to see this with Forkner, a rider who's had far too many of these. And this is critical because Robertson was one of the riders battling him for that top 30 position. He almost passed him. Now he's down and a few more riders are going to go by and he is going to be out of a points paying position in this moto. Oh man. Yeah, it's coming. He got on top of that double. Now he's going to try to outpace his teammate down this long straightaway. DeFrancisco is going to have the inside though. Yeah, Joe be on the inside on this next one. So got it. No, Ryder, he comes back. Good job. Nice, nice. 
make that mistake, and um, you know he closed them off. We've seen top 10 finishes at about half the motos for the number 75. It's just Deegan has been so spectacular that everyone is kind of in his shadow right now. Today is potentially Ryder De Francesco's day to shine, and he is not giving up the lead. Yeah, he's been struggling with this section, and that's where Joe was able to close in on him. So, and this time um, he gets him. Yeah, he got him. So you'll probably see Joe now that he got a clear track, try to put some uh, daylight because he is a little bit quicker than these guys. Good to see Joe Shimoda. A similar story for him, moving as a young man from Japan, didn't even speak English at the time, to come here and accomplish his dreams. Joe Shimoda, 1-1, sweeps the Ironman National and gets Kawasaki their first win of the year. We started the year, no brothers had ever won both classes race wins in the same day. Now they will both be champions. Hunter Lawrence, your 250 national champion for 2023. Pat, he doesn't even know it yet. You don't think so? Well, I mean. Yeah, he's looking right now. He's trying to figure it out. He's saying, is it over? Is it over? They're about to tell him. And there is Johnny O'Mara, the longtime riding coach and trainer. Really just guidance for the Lawrence brothers. I believe he's giving him the news. These mechanics, Cameron Camera has been with him for a long time. And I think he's now starting to figure out he has iced it here in Moto1. Hunter Lawrence and Honda reign in the 250 class again. Uh, first off, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm looking forward to going back and relaxing. Uh, it's good, man. So stoked, just so honored to Thank the team, honestly, with, uh, you know, five championships and the year's not done, so it's unreal. Everyone, Honda, Australia, all my crew, this is, uh, we did it, baby, we did it. Hunter, each year, our sport, Pro Motocross, uh, presents the Gary Jones Cup to our champion, named after Gary Jones, our original champion 50 years ago, and it includes the names of all those champions over 50 years. On behalf of AMA, on behalf of AMA Pro Racing, our sanctioning body, and MX Sports Pro Racing, the organizer of the Pro Motocross Series, it is uh, my privilege, and you'll recognize uh, one of those names on there. Uh, it's my privilege to present to you the Gary Jones Cup to our champion. starts 21 moto wins for the youngster who has already wrapped up this 450 title can he be perfect it would seem nearly impossible for what could be a learning year to end with being an undefeated year but we are on the precipice of that can anyone stop him we've been asking that since the very first qualifying session of the year back in may when he put time into the entire field they have not been able to answer back, at least not yet. You know the nerves are high. He said it himself at the end of Moto One. He can't lie. He's thinking about it. He's hyped up. He's amped up. Will it make him ride better or worse? That is the key in this final Moto of the season. Here it is. Revs are up. Perfection on the line. Gates down and oh, we flinched. Everybody flinched. We'll see if they hold that start or not, if it'll be a restart. Looks like Plessinger leads them in. Is that Ferrandez who's gonna take the lead? Well, I mean, just as much as he flinched to be up front. Um, How is he there? How is he there? Because he's in second, he's already ahead of Sexton, and Ferrandez has tossed it away. And he's already in the lead. Yeah, that's that water. Dylan went in there and watched that front end um, by the same place, Austin Forkner, but I mean, did we just see what just happened? I, I can't, I, I don't even, I was looking for him in like 10th. I didn't even see him in second. Sexton has that spot now, and it's the battle we wanted to see. Sexton immediately there with his teammate, probably his biggest threat. Now about a quarter a lap away from perfection. He looks over again. Sexton's got it down to 2.3. A couple of corners away. Pressure the whole time. Here it comes. Through the rollers. Sexton gave it his all. But here it is, the perfect season for Jeff Lawrence. There you go. 22-0. And a huge sigh of relief for him. You saw the mechanic there. 
just launched a bike, just goes right the whip, Jack. You don't think this meant something to him? If that would have been, uh, don't think this kid wants to win? Exactly, exactly. You guys said that the title was the goal, but once he got past that, you know he wants them all, and he got it. Plus the emotion of having to push all the way to the end. Sexton throwing everything he had at him. The final margin of victory, 1.7 seconds. Incredible what he has done. Hi folks, Lee Diffie from NBC Sports here. If you truly enjoyed what you just watched, you can get more news, interviews, and highlights by subscribing to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube page. You can get it all, so go for it.